You might think of it when I'm talking, so if you do, just no, seriously. But, but no, I mean, the first thing I want to say is that I've always actually also been very cautious, and you, you sort of hinted at this a bit earlier, of, of putting too much responsibility on, on, on children before they're ready for it. And, and um, yeah, um, so I mean, that, that's just one thing I would be just uh, careful about. Um, but yeah, having said that, yeah, um, a, a wonderful way to evangelize non-Christian friends is, is really just to um, not be a hypocrite. <laughs> really, that's just the most powerful message you can send to non-Christian friends is frankly to care more about your relationship with Christ than your relationship with them. Now, you might think, oh, that's going to make them not like me. Well, some of them might not, but some of them will. Some of them will just think, wow, he or she actually stands for something. He or she is serious about something. And, and, and young folks, in this age where we're infantilized, where responsibility is seen as almost a form of oppression, for someone to actually stand for something uh, that is a pretty radical, incredible thing uh, for people to do. And standing for something that's not just the usual sort of woke uh, messaging that you get from schools and things like that. So for, for, for a student to turn up to a school on wear it purple day and just not wear it purple, like that's a, that's a huge thing. It's not the people who are wearing purple who are the courageous ones. They're just conforming. It's the person who goes along and doesn't wear purple. And someone says, why not? You say, because I don't believe in it. Because I don't, <laughs> you could just say, because I don't want to. How about that? How about that? I just don't want to. Um, that is a very, very powerful testimony in itself. So the most powerful thing that you can do in your, in your peer group uh, to be a witness uh, is to really resist the temptations to, to sin, basically. And again, like I said, some in your peer group will feel threatened by that, and they might not like you, but there will be others who, even if they don't tell you, they'll respect you. It will happen, they will respect you. Um, yeah. Yeah.